Hello everybody and welcome to another bonus tutorial. Today I'm going to be talking all about freeware alternatives to uh, Adobe Photoshop and stuff like that. So I'm just going to dive right into this so I can get this done ASAP so you don't have to listen to me babble on. Haha, <laughs> babble on. Okay, so first off I'm going to tell you about uh, a pixel editor called Pixin. Uh, very useful for when you want to create like favicons or stuff for websites, but it, you know it's a decent uh, tool if you want to make pixel stuff. It's pretty cool. Uh, I've seen many people make their own sprite sheets using this. Uh, let's. Oh, I just found out it has tablet support, which is a nice uh, thing. So if you have a Wacom tablet, Wacom tablet. Uh, you can use the, your eraser on it. Anyway, but, uh, yeah, Pixin lets you also do some animation with this. Uh, but aside from making pixely 8-bitty animations, uh, there's not much else you can do with Pixin. But I like Pixin. I've, I've used it in the past. So, that's it for Pixin. Next off, uh, we've got Art Rage. Uh, this is... They have an edition that you can buy, but the free edition has most of the tools that the normal one does. Uh, so I'm just gonna draw a little something. Oh, I do not like that color. Oh, uh, this one also has tablet support, by the way. So if you're a Wacomer like me, you can uh, use this bad boy. Anyway. Uh, it looks like I'm gonna draw the same face in all of the different art things so you people can see how they compare but yeah I, I like Art Rage it's a good Photoshop alternative and it's more on the low key side so um, you if you're starting out painting on your computer and stuff uh, this is a good thing to use and you can see it has pressure sensitivity so the harder I press uh, the tablet, the more opaque my lines are. So, Art Rage Starter Edition. Uh, next up is Pencil. I've talked a lot about Pencil. It's a freeware animation tool. Uh, it, it's pretty easy to get around. Uh, it's fun to animate with. Also has tablet support, by the way. So, uh, yeah, you can do that same line thingy like I did with Artreach. Uh, pencil, I've done a lot about it. If you want to learn more, I have more videos on Pencil in my tutorials. So, next up isn't really an art software. Well, let's just do this one first. Uh, this is Blender. This is a free 3D editing software. Now, a lot of people say, well, this has got to be really hard to use, but it's actually not, surprisingly. Uh, if you've used things like Maya and stuff, it's it's not that hard to get around. Um, it's at first it's kind of overwhelming, but when you get to no Blender, uh, yeah. Anyway, I think my computer is gonna explode because I'm using like a million things in Blender. I tend to use uh, when all my other apps are closed because Blender takes up a lot of uh, CPU, if you will. Whoa. Okay, freaking out. Okay, so next up isn't really an art software, drawing software, uh, but um, it, it's really useful. Well, actually, let's do that one last. Uh, so next up is Cocoa Pad. This is just for little sketches that you might want to do. Uh, it also has, does this? Yeah, it does have tablet support. Uh, Anyway, Art Rage Starter. Wait, I have to draw that thing that I always draw. One second. Art. This is not Art Rage. Cocoa Pad. Cocoa Pad. Anyway, uh, yeah. That's a really weird drawing. Okay, whatever. Uh, Cocoa Pad. So, this is not an art software at all. Uh, this is for colors. It's called Adobe. Adobe cooler cooler or something like that but what it does is I think it grabs uh, different color schemes from 
uh, that people have submitted to Adobe.com or something, and then it lets you use them. You can copy the hex codes for all of them and use them, animating stuff like that. This does require Adobe Air to install, but it's it's good for uh, picking out colors. So yeah, Adobe Cooler. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope these come in handy. I'll have links to all of them in the show notes. Thanks for watching and bye. Every time you don't visit my blog, God kills a kitten. You wouldn't want that to happen, would you? Porridge tutorials.blogspot.com